It's Brian Preston, the money guy. All right, here is the next question, Brian. This one uh, is from uh, Tony Rose. And Tony Rose said, I'm saving for my toddler. Should I set up a separate brokerage account, leave it there for 65 years, and make them a sole beneficiary, or should I set up some sort of trust account? Now, this question, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to alter it a little bit because I get this all the time from folks. They want to start saving for a young child, a toddler, a baby, fill in the blank. And they're like, all right, I want to do this. Do I need to go see an attorney and start setting up trusts? And what, how, how do I start thinking about this? What should she be thinking through? Yeah, what, what I love about these type of questions is that realize the government knows there's an incentive for creating a, a, a citizen base that's saving for the future. So they've already created some tax-favored um, legal structures without you having to go pay an attorney to do all these things. And when I'm talking about a toddler, um, unless they're doing Gerber baby ads, there's not a lot of earned <laughs> income opportunities here. So you're not talking about custodial Roth IRAs. We're talking about this is going to be your traditional, normal custodial account that could be a UGMA or UTMA. Mm -hmm. It depends upon which state you live on, how they structure it. Um, and, and here's what I like about this to keep it simple. You can go open up one of these accounts at any brokerage type place. So you think your Vanguard, your Fidelities, your Charles Schwab's, those type of things. And then you could buy what index target retirement funds. And I love those because all you have to do is come up with how much you can save and when they will need it. Now that second part, that's where the that's question the mark one. falls because here's the reality of the situation. You know, from going to moneyguy.com slash resources, what every dollar saved by age becomes, mm -hmm. and this is not even the right one because we do have one starting at age zero, zero. Yep. of what that money could become. And that's that's probably what Tony has, has stumbled upon and has gotten really excited and wants to set up their child so by age 65 – with just a little bit of money put forward, it's turned into a great yeah. big opportunity. But the reality of the situation is probably in their 20s to early 30s, because we know the typical first home is purchased around age 32. Um, that child's going to look at that pot of money that you've started saving at a young age and going, hmm, man, I sure could use that. That could really be useful right now on this house down payment. Mm -hmm. Or, man, that could that could really be useful for this wedding that's coming mm -hmm. up. And and, you know, fill in the blank. So there might be a little divide um, between you and the child that's now reached majority age uh, on where those assets go. And you just have to be okay that you don't control those assets mm -hmm. anymore because custodial accounts do become the child's assets and depend upon which state you live in because it varies based upon um, the state laws. Um, it's majority age. So it might be 18 in some states. It might be 21 in other states. But they control those assets at that point. Um, and, and you just have to be okay with that because it might be a house down payment instead of being that uber easy path to becoming a multimillionaire at age 65. But I still think it's incredible opportunity. I do this for my kids, Bo, you do it for your kids. Absolutely. I think it's a super valuable wealth building tool. And then I want to challenge you as this child becomes, goes from toddler to um, teenager at some point when they actually start working and that can be it doesn't have to be just W-2 work. It can be babysitting. It can be cutting grass, whatever it is. You can structure as long as they, they are documenting that earned income with the government. Start doing that custodial Roth IRA because that you, you want to get somebody excited about building for the future. Show them what it becomes tax-free. And then you as a parent could even, to encourage the good behavior of building the habit of saving and investing, do a dollar-for-dollar dollar match or 50 cents on the dollar match, just like your employer does. There's nothing that says that you can't be a parental household that also matches good financial behaviors. I love it. I agree. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, ask a question within a question, or I'm just going to mm -hmm. kind of dump this on there because... Um, specifically, one of the things that Tony Rose said was about trust. And so the question becomes, okay, if that's not what makes sense, when do trusts make sense? When is that something I should be utilizing? Uh, and it's kind of unique. So first thing we'll say is, you know, it varies state by state. Every state is a little bit different. And so a state laws in different states will dictate whether a trust makes sense or not. But in most cases, 
unless you are over the current estate exemption amount, unless you have over 11 or so million dollars, there's a household you have over $22 million, the real thing that you want trusts to be there for are if you pass away. Like if you have young children, the trust is really supposed to be something that is either established in your will or that's established as part of your estate plan to protect assets should you not be here. If you are here and you have control over the money and you have discretion over the money, oftentimes a trust structure may not be what you need to put in place because exactly what you said, there are much more easy, simple solutions that you can have there. Now, if you have unique things like special needs children or unique family circumstances, of course, that might be a way or a time where you want to use a trust. But I'm amazed at how often folks... Uh, decide to establish trust when, in my opinion, they're doing it a little prematurely before there's actually a need to be putting money in those accounts.